My name is Jessica Grom and I work at the MRC Cognition and Brain Sciences Unit in Cambridge in England. My area of research is the neuroscience of music or how our brain processes and responds to music. The big questions in the neuroscience of music field right now are, first of all, how do all the different brain areas involved in processing music communicate with each other? We know that music has a very strong emotional impact on us, but it also requires very complex processing of sounds and movements, and it's also something that we've experienced from you know, birth, uh, most of us, all the way through to old age, and we tend to acquire more and more musical experience. So learning how all these things interact and how these different brain areas interact to give us our experience of music uh, is one of the major things we're trying to work out right now. One of the things that's important about uh, neuroscience of music, because it involves all these different brain areas and because people have different levels of expertise, some are beginners, some are advanced, some are in the middle, some play lots of instruments, some may focus very much on one, is we can use all these differing levels of experience to look at the different impacts on different brain areas. So for example, if we realize that certain musicians might have enhanced motor function, so parts of the brain controlling movement seem to be structured better, we might be able to use this for therapeutic benefit, either to optimize and enhance people who are already healthy, but maybe make them perform a bit better, or also to rehabilitate, pe rehabilitate people who might have brain damage, how to make that part of the brain that is still remaining and still healthy compensate for the areas that are damaged.